Hey guys, I'm Emily and today I'm going to read some of your comments about my brand new room, which I absolutely love. And it seems that you guys do as well because the video of my room makeover did really well and there are many comments with your guys' thoughts on it. So let's just get started. Emily has a great taste in music. <laughs> I appreciate that and would agree that I do have a great taste. I know you're referring to these vinyls back here and yes, Taylor Swift, Conan Gray, and Olivia Rodrigo are all some of my favorites. I'd love to collect some more vinyls still though. One of the best doll rooms I've ever seen. There were so many comments like this, so thank you guys. I'm definitely very happy with how my room turned out and I'm just as happy that you guys love it too. I love the room, but it would have been good to have the bed and furniture on the opposite side for a change and had the TV in line with the bed. Also a wardrobe for the clothes. Okay, that's fair. I could have put my bed against that wall, but I don't know, I just like it here. It feels so wrong to have it on that side. Plus, I already changed so much, so I feel like I needed to keep the bed placement the same at least. As for the TV, it definitely would have been ideal if it was lined up with the bed, but then I wouldn't have been able to have my photo collage, mirror, and shelves by my desk, so that's why I moved it over. Amazing, I love this new upgrade, but where is the closet? The last comment also mentioned how there wasn't a wardrobe for the clothes, and there were several people wondering where my clothes were going to go. But, if you don't already know, I do actually have a closet, and it's definitely not too shabby, to say the least. It's literally the same size as my room. So yeah, don't worry about my clothes situation. I do have a nice big closet for that. Here, I'll go show you quickly right now, just for proof. Yeah, some may say it's overkill, but hey, I love fashion, okay? Maybe you should add a remote to the LED lights. Yeah, there were many comments saying how there wasn't any LED remote or TV remote. But don't worry guys, I got the remotes now. Good thing too, because otherwise I don't know how I'd use this stuff. Here's the one for the TV. And this one's for the LED lights. I love the color purple in Emily's room. Everyone was commenting their favorite LED color for my room, like purple, blue, pink, yellow, and so on. This comment asked, what's my favorite color? And it's really so difficult to choose. There's something about purple though, I just love it. I also like this yellow orangish color too. It reminds me of a sunset. It doesn't really show up well on camera though. This person said their favorite is green because now Emily can get abducted by aliens? Um, what? Okay, well, I guess I'm never gonna use my green lights ever again because I think I'd rather not be abducted by aliens, thank you very much. Maybe put something neon in the room because when you make the lights turn blue, the neon will glow? Wait, really? I never thought of that. Okay, wait, I have to try this now. Um, mm, let me go find something neon. Okay, okay, I found this lime green beanie. Hopefully this works. Wait, no, it's not working. Or maybe it is a little bit? Actually, if anything, my emoji pillow is glowing more. Wait, that's cool. Does that count? I don't know, but I didn't notice that before. Fake food. Um, well, that was kind of out of pocket. Don't know what you're referring to, but speaking of food, snack break. Yes. What? Don't act like you don't have some snacks stashed in your room. Or maybe it is just me. Hey guys, it's me, Ava, quickly popping in here because I do want to mention that the snacks Emily was holding were sent to me by an Etsy shop called Catchy Charisma Minis. And they actually sent me quite a few things. In here, we have a whole bunch of different like chips and snacks and they're all really cute and detailed. In here, there's a bunch of fake money, and these are definitely gonna come in handy with my series. So realistic and cute. Then we have a whole bunch of Amazon parcels, like some boxes and these other packages here, which do look like the real thing. I would know I order way too much stuff off Amazon. Definitely gonna be using in the dollhouse and in my series. And lastly, there's all these little gift cards, which are so cute. We have like Walmart, Netflix, the Home Depot. 
Thank you Catchy Charisma Minis for sending all these adorable items. If you guys are interested in checking out their Etsy shop, it'll be linked in the description box below because they have some really cute stuff. And you'll definitely be seeing all these items on my channel moving forward. Now let's get back to Emily's vlog. When a doll has a better life than me, lol, she doesn't have a life? Ah, uh, wow, excuse you. But I do in fact have a life, I think. Wait, am I living a life? Do I have a life? Wait, then what, what would I have? Uh, okay, okay, next comment. You're making me question my entire existence. Wait, if I'm not living, then does that mean I also don't have an existence? Ah! This person mentioned my photos of me and Chase, and uh, I love them so much. Look how cute we are. Definitely my favorite thing in my entire room. I think it's a bit too much, but still beautiful. Okay, you might have a point there. There definitely is a lot going on, but I feel like that's just me. I like lots of stuff everywhere. In fact, I was tempted to clutter things up even more, but it's probably best that I, I didn't. I'm like in love with the TV. Believe me, I am too. I finally don't have to watch The Vampire Diaries on my small laptop screen anymore. OMG, I have a side table just like Emily. No way, that's awesome. I literally love this end table. The wood parts are so nice and it's perfect to hold everything I need. That's so cool that you have the same one. Aw, yes, LCDIY commented on the play button and she's the one that actually sent it to me because believe it or not, YouTube doesn't send you a doll size silver play button as well when you reach 100,000 subscribers. So I love the one Elsie made for me. Thanks YouTube for the regular size YouTube play button though. And when we reach 1 million subscribers, we'll get a gold one. So go subscribe if you aren't already so we can reach that milestone. My favorite part is everything. Thank you. You guys are too sweet. There were literally no negative or mean comments about anything in my room. So thank you all for being so kind. And well, those were all the comments I'm going to be reading for this video. I know it's more of a quick one, but it's all I had time for this week. I'm so glad you all love my new room just as much as I do. And thank you for all the comments. Before we end today's video, the shoutouts for today go to Nora Maha, Molly Bryson, and Kylie Harrison. Thank you so, so much for supporting the channel. And remember, if you want a chance of getting a shoutout, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and comment below with the hashtag DDSquad, and you'll have a chance of getting a shoutout in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye!